everybody. Thanks for joining us on today's amazing video, Buick Riviera. Wow, I have to tell you, in the world of styling and things like that on cars, this car is the pinnacle uh, in that group of just 10 of the world's greatest styled cars. It wins awards all the time for uh, the detail stuff that went in there, from the hideaway headlights to these incredible lines on the car. This car in particular has some awesome, amazing upgrades. I have to tell you, go to a Cars and Coffee in something like this, or go out to dinner in something like this. This is the car that gets parked out front in front of Morton's or Fleming Steakhouse or wherever you may be going, and the Porsche or the, or the Jag gets pushed around the side. This car is awesome. This car is also very different than most 65 Rivieres. I'm gonna point out a few things that are upgrades on this car and some styling features and why it looks so much better than maybe some of the others that might be out there. All right, so a lot of times people will say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why it's a great looking car. So let's point out a couple things. First off, the body we already talked about is spectacular. This was owned by a body shop owner and it is gorgeous paint. Put that aside. No B pillar here, right? It looks like the roof is floating on top here and a great angle, right? It's not so rounded like other cars. It's really nice sharp cuts, all right? Vent windows, which are kind of cool. These are 17 inch wheels. They're replicas of the original style wheel that would have uh, come on some of these cars. Uh, we, we put them on here because this car is modified and it does have disc brakes buried inside there. It does have an upgraded suspension. It has more power under the hood. This wheel and tire combination on here, these are nine inch wide wheels all the way around, is 100% wider than the original factory wheel. It handles much, much better. Come back up front here and we're talking about the styling here. This right here, first off, the grill, bumpers and everything. This is devoid of a lot of the emblems. If you want, you can always put them back on. But anyway, it's devoid of the emblems. And then you have this piece here that, that set the 65 Riviera apart from so many other cars, right? Most people don't know that when they see the car and they go, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't understand that you get this with it. All right, so a big part of a car is the paint. Under these bright lights in here, it looks really amazing. Outside, it looks even better because these are harsh lights. It's why I look so bad and this looks so good. However, what I'm getting at is this is that you can look at pictures online and online you're gonna see things all the time that look great, and they look shiny, people tell you that they're shiny, get a video, get a video, get a video. You can't doctor the video to make paint look so much better, right? So come on up here and this is how my test is. My test is, can you read every letter nice and crisp? Every letter, can you read it, right? Can you read every hand and, and movement in the watch there, right? You can see all that. That's exactly what great paint offers you. When it's not great paint, it's cloudy, uh, the letters are deformed, and this is why it's so important to get the video. I'm a detail guy. I love the effort it takes because everybody can make like, a decent car, but to do the detail stuff takes a lot of extra time. And in this case here, this is exactly what we're talking about, okay? For instance, like when you look through the interior of this glass, you see, first off, it's green tinted glass because it's an AC car. But secondly, they color match the speakers to match the rear deck. There's not two big black speakers sticking out in a tan deck, right? Just a tiny detail. And then again, we have all of our cool stuff uh, like this right here. How you do it? I love doing that. I could do it all day long. But this is, what I, this is why I say some cars are better than others. First off, this trunk right here. Uh, it's probably a thousand dollars just to do the carpet and detail in here. Secondly, it has a car cover. You say, well, Tone, who cares if it has a car cover? I mean, that's really nice, but why will that, why would that car be better than others? Well, what it says is this car was kept inside on a lift and covered, right? Two reasons that they loved the car. They loved it to keep it inside and they loved it to put the car cover on here. In here is also the stock steering wheel uh, and a couple extra parts that come with the car. We're going to give you those and you take those with you. We had these wheels made. They're uh, kind of replicas of the original style Buick wheel, but they're a 17 by nine inch wheel. They're hundred percent wider, hundred percent wider than the original style factory wheels uh, as far as tire width goes, right? Um, and they're high speed radials. The car drives significantly different than the, the six inch wheels that would have come on it or even uh, some of the later seven inch model wheels. But the tire itself is nice and square, nice and big. It's a high speed radial and looks so good on this car. Let's take a peek under here and look and see what we're talking about, all right? We're talking about power brakes. We're talking about power steering. We're talking about factory air conditioning. You know, this is called the 445 engine, not for the cubic inches, but the torque that it made, right? This is a 401 cubic inch engine that makes more torque uh, than it does per cubic inch. 
Hence one of the reasons why, I don't know if you know this, but the SR-71 Blackbird, which was the fastest and still the fastest plane in the world, right? use this engine to start the engines on that plane in the 60s, right? That's pretty amazing when you think about the kind of power that this delivers. Plus it's nicely detailed in here. Uh, the air conditioning systems and everything's all in place, working like it should, it's painted. I don't know, I just love the idea of going to a car show and you being able to open the hood and people seeing what this looks like. If you don't love this air cleaner because it matches those there, we could put the stock air cleaner back on it. We could put a chrome one on it, whatever. Those are the cool kind of touches that make for a little bit different car that you have your hand in making, meaning you get to personalize it. All right, you just came out of dinner. Nice place. Maybe another couple with the kids or whatever, and you walk up to go get in your Riviera. Most people are like, how's that guy going to get in his car? And this is what you do. You say, oh, how you doing, right? And then you jump on in and you're cool. Riviera. Anyway, I want to talk a little more about styling while we're in here. First off, this waterfall style dash with the full console is beautiful. Secondly, like little touches like this, where the glove box opens up, not out and there. It's got USB ports, the glove box light works, the uh, console lights uh, also light up when you open the doors. Right, you see this right here? This is indication of a restoration that's done properly. Most of the time, the stuff just doesn't work. Tilt wheel, full array of uh, good looking dash gauges right here, 140 mile an hour speedometer. Not to mention inside here is room for people to sit. You can have another couple go with you. You can put three kids back there, three people back there. Imagine going out with somebody, uh, whether it's a couple or friends or the family, whatever. Dinner, winery, whatever is a very different experience. It makes me smile when I think about it because in this car is a whole nother world. All right, so let's go over this, uh, this detail on the car as we close up the video. So we have factory air conditioning, we have power steering, we have power brakes, we have shaved door handles and devoid of some chrome trim and emblems with beautiful paint. Great wheel and tire package, I think. The interior we got in was spectacular. The styling inside equals the styling outside of this car. It is a gorgeous car to drive on top of it. When you're in here and it's rolling down the road, I'm telling you, man, go to a Cars and Coffee in this car here, park it next to a Porsche, park it next to a McLaren. Everyone will come over to look at this car and they're gonna wanna know what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, I've never seen one like that because you haven't. It is amazing. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this Buick Riviera. If you would, please don't forget to uh, like the video right down there below. And if you would share it with your friends, that would be awesome too. And subscribe to the channel. We have new content coming out every day. And lastly, let's go for a test drive. All right, we talked about uh, going for a test drive and that's exactly what we're doing. You know, when a car fits you, it just fits you. Like this car, I don't know, there's something about the style of a Riviera from the outside that although it's inside the showroom with other supermodels, when you walk up to it outside, the styling is amazing. This one in particular has a great suspension. It has the bigger wheels and tires. We're going around this like nice windy road, which typically a muscle car doesn't love, but this car loves it. This car is driving along nicely. It just sounds good, it's kind of rattle free. The console looks so nice in here. I'm just enjoying going for a drive. It's not a lot to talk about when you think about it, like the, the gauges are working like they're supposed to, the stereo sounds good. Um, I, think, I think you and I are going for a test drive. And why are we going for a test drive? Because you're trying to figure out how to get it into your garage. And this is what it looks like when you get it. When you get it, this is how you're gonna drive it. You to get in, starts right up. The door poppers work like they're supposed to. The car just rides nice, man. This is. Buick just was able to do things that Chevrolet was not. You know, I love all cars because they all try to do things differently. But, but Buick just made a car run and drive well. They just did. It was nice.